Okay, so here's the uh, 2.61 uh, crystal focus board. I'm going to go ahead and take out the kill switch. I'll see if I can do that without uh, disrupting the camera angle. So you hear the boot sound that I have. And you can see that there'll be an LED flashing, and that's the uh, idle LED. There's other LEDs on here, so we'll turn it on and you'll see all the lights. So you can see there's several LEDs going on here. We've got this one, this one. This one's hard to see in the back here. It's in line with the blade itself. Um, you'll get all the flash sounds if I can do it. There we go. It's a little tough one. It's just sitting here. And now we have just some different interesting sounds for this. The, uh, That's effectively the blaster button, which is more lightning now. Alright, and then we have the force push, this is another thing which I don't think I can even do with one hand, but uh, it's pretty cool too, so there's always that. And now we'll do this also with the safety feature. I turned the switch off, the power switch, it doesn't work, so I have to hit the momentary and that will make it go off. So that's the other one. Uh, to get into the other modes, now that the saber's idle, I can hold down this button. We get that one to confirm. It tells me I was in Black Star. And then we get the menu. That's where I left off. Then we have... That says Episode 4. The Ancient Saber? Kung Fu. <laughs> Phoenix Flame uh, Pyre Sword. This one has the chainsaw on it. And that's for the Ice Saber mode. So let's see if I can skip a couple and we'll go to something else. I select it. And we'll see a different LED that glows and a little different pattern for it for the uh, uh, idle. And now we turn it on. I don't think I put the protection mode on this one. So there's the glow of it and everything, as you guys know if you use this font. Different blaster that I finally added. I've always wanted to add this, I just didn't have the time until recently. Nice uh, 45 millimeter speaker. Sounds much better when it's in some kind of a, a resonance cavity but don't really have that ability to do that right now. And here's the lockup. And power off, of course. The last thing I might as well show you, I don't think you can see it very well without the other LED blinking, but there's a motor on here. Oh, I can point to it. There it is. Uh, I did notice though the way that I have this mounted because I just don't know if I have enough room it causes the board to detect swings <laughs> constantly so it's not very good to have it on that's why I have this little switch here and I can uh, shut it off let me go ahead I might as well turn it on and see so this is it without it on no swings detected now it's going to probably go a little bit nuts and you can kind of see it rotating <laughs> I have to figure out what the hell I'm going to do about that. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do about that. Um, try to get it mounted to the body. I just don't know if I have room in this saber. So, that's the end of that. Um, I should probably show the Phoenix Sword too. So we'll do that one as well. like flames and we got a blaster lock up etc and uh, the force is very cool on this one too, but I can't do that one without having 12 hands. And power off, the 
is also long like the ancient saber. And that's it. See you later.